It's too much, man. It's just too much. It's out of hand. Oh. You do get the benefits of being a vampire, but you also get the downsides, and I'd like to not get sunburnt entirely to death. It's definitely not... Not high on my to-do list. Ooh. <gasps> what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Ooh. <gasps> what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? I don't know what that means. I have no clue what that means. We're hiding. Nope. Nope. I still have, I still have wool. God, my heart, my heart's fucking pow. Holy shit. What the fuck? For the record, I did most of my testing in creative. So that kind of shit didn't happen. Ah. Ah. Eh. Is this safe? Can, can I come into the out now? Hi. You're you're gonna protect me, right, Mr. Hunter? You're gonna you're gonna Okay, I guess I'll, I'll do it myself. Okay, he was gonna come protect me. Uh. Was it because I saw the amphitheater? Or was it something in that cave? I, I, I feel like those are the two. So, I feel like there were two possible three now that I think of it. There a few possible scenarios. A, I looked at the amphitheater, and that triggered something. Even though my crosshair never actually touched it, so I find that unlikely. B, there was something in that cave that was just begging me to take one step closer. And I feel like I'm about to find out if that was the case. Now there's a villager in there. Or C... It was something to do with it getting dark, because it was nearly nighttime, so it was like a, a night event. Okay. Like, maybe it was a vampire or something? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, was, was it a, was it a hides behind? Was it a hides behind? Oh, it might have been a hides behind. So there's a thing. There's a thing called a... I, I'm not even kidding. That's the actual name. Hides behind... Hide behind strong egg, okay? Spawn egg, okay? I'm not... I'm not kidding. It's a real... It's a real thing. Something called a hide behind. And... It's, it's a thing from Whispering Woods that stalks you around, and it hides behind shit, okay? These are, these are more, okay, you're a hunter representative. Okay, I can't interact with you at all. So I'm thinking maybe because a, a hide behind doesn't attack things that are in light and I've been in like it, it won't it won't come at you if you're in light and if it's in light it just kind of like you know goes into stasis too and they become like translucent. Like I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it because you're not supposed to see them.
yeah, a hide behind might have been the answer to our mystery. Uh, if you're watching and you know what it was and I'm wrong, please tell me, because dear God, that actually scared the fuck out of me. Terraria has has trained me, okay? I I see ominous text, ominous ass red text in my chat in a single player world. I just have a bad time. Or even just ominous text in general. It doesn't even have to be red. Like it I, I just I see text in my chat box in a single player world that I did not send, and it's just okay. <laughs> guess i'll cry hey how you doing uh it's faberia not jake i will pass you back to jake live action uh playthrough in a second me and him were just looking through the footage in post and like the next hour of stuff is just so boring i mean it's 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 not horrible there's a bunch of exploration we see a couple dragons um and you are going to see some of that we're going to kind of i'm going to kind of like speed run compilation just boop, 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 all the little interesting bits uh and then we'll get on to the actual interesting stuff which is right now uh about to go into the nether so that's where the actual episode's gonna pick off up that's where i'm gonna start the next episode uh, but i just wanted to let you guys know you're about to see a huge jump because we covered a ton of ground but not a whole hell of a lot happened uh and it was all kind of just aimless wandering so I'm just going to spare you all of that because a lot of it is just very quiet and it's not very interesting. And he was like, hey, can we just like skip this? And I'm like, yeah, I can just edit all of it out. And so that's what we're doing. So I'm going to pass you back to him. Take it easy. Well, uh, whatever's after me, I'm just going to have to suffer, I guess. Maybe I'm being haunted by... Uh... By the spirits I disturbed. Let's try and avoid it. Let's hug this left area. I don't know what that is. And I don't want to fall. Oh, there's more of them. I really hope they're not hostile now. Because if they are, I'm about to get fucking rocked by... I'm, I'm, I'm about to get jumped. I'm about to get jumped if they're hostile. But it appears that they're not. So I think we're good. It's getting dark again. Oh, shit. Okay, well, whatever that is, I don't like it. It didn't hurt a ton. Huh. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't really fuck me up, but it didn't feel good. Whoa, this one got, okay, hold on. I have to check this because I did set this as a possibility in the configs. I didn't know if I was going to run straight into one or not, though. Ow, excuse me. But yeah, we, we found a city that got fucking nuked. Well, never mind, we don't have to. Because the answer to my question is right here. We are good. Okay. Two alchemy tables... And an enchantment table. Wonderful. Never mind. I no longer want to explore the crater. I no longer want to explore the rest of the city. No thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. How did I not notice that on the map? The multiple charred spots. Nope. 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 That's... Oh god, really? From all the way over there? From all the way over there? Ah, oh, really? Come on. Guess I gotta fight one now. Through my shield? Okay. Well, I'm gonna just start running from you then, if you're just gonna stay all the way over there and... Hi, cow. Okay, I need you guys to get out of my way really quick. Get the materials. Get the fuck out. That's a pillager. Scout party. That's an amp. Oh my god, this area is so dead. 
I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. This is so dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my god. No thank you. I'm starting to think maybe the underground will be safer. It looks like maybe... Like a geode or something? I'm starting to think underground is just safer for me. Maybe I just belong down here. Maybe I just belong down here with the mobs, you know? God, true darkness is really fucking me up right now. That's what makes it where, like, the dark areas are actually pitch black. That's true darkness. Not a huge change, but it's a pretty fucking noticeable one. It also reflects the moon phases, so on, like, full moons, you do get, like, moonlight. But if, you know, if you can't see the moon in the sky, then you don't get any of the moonlight. And nighttime is pitch black. Okay, so far this caving expedition has gone shockingly well. Because water... Water weakens vampires. So if he's still here, I just hang near this water source and he can't really do anything about it. He can kind of just cope and seethe, and that's about it. There we go. Ooh, glad I got away from there. He's not fucking happy. But yeah, that is the thing that has a guaranteed blaze spawner in that room right there. But that's a problem for us. And so is that to a lesser extent, but mostly that. Also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's a... Okay, so these two things are a problem for us. But that, most of all. That'll just ruin my whole day. Is there any hide-behinds anywhere? Wait. Okay, I, I think I might have just been... I might have just been tripping myself out. I'm probably just tripping myself out. Oh. Dumbass. Dumbass. Ugh, I couldn't even save you if I wanted to. Goodbye. 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 Shitty stone tools, I need you no longer. We have graduated to iron. Hopefully permanently. I, I have no plans on taking going back. You can't make me. I'm not going back alive. I'm, or I'm I'm not going. You'll I'm not going back. You'll never take me alive. That that's closer to how the phrase goes. Sometimes. With that, that about does it for today. I've got everything that I really need. Um. We have our full, first full suit of armor. I was able to explain a lot of the mods we have at play and kind of show a bunch of them off. We saw the fire and ice. We did see a vampire and some hunters from vampirism. We still haven't gotten to the main, the star of the show in my mind. Um, even though it's a relatively minor thing, like ice and fire has more content than any other mod in this pack, I think. I guess blood magic has a good deal, and then vampirism is close behind, but their their content's fairly simple. Blood magic does have, like, alchemy's really good, uh, but vampirism is, like, there's plenty there, but it's fairly simple. It's not the most complicated progression I've ever seen. You kill a bunch of shit, you drink more blood, you become stronger. Which is fine, because it being simple works really nicely here, and in most of its applications, that's why it's a good mod. It's not trying to be the forefront of a pack. In a single-player world where it's the only thing, it, you know, comes in, it makes its nice mechanical difference that brings interest, and then it leaves. In a mod pack, it brings some mechanical variety to kind of spice up an existing pack and then it stays out of the way like it it, it knows the role it plays which is good um it's a wonderful thing but the one i'm most excited about of course is biomancy which is what inspired me to make this pack in the first place <laughs> bro is just <laughs> 
he's just flopping. He did a flop. Like a dog coming in from outside and he's just sleepy. He just That's what that's what my dog. He's doing a sploot. He's doing a midair sploot. That's the word I was looking for. A sploot. Is splooting. Where's where's the hook? You're supposed to kick. Was it replaced with the bone cleaver? Is that what does it now? Specialized bone tool for getting a special uh, additional loot. I guess it's the bone cleaver now. So wait, we can just start it. Okay, so let's. Okay, let's get our first biomancy item before we end off. Bone cleaver. There we go. So now, when we kill stuff, we get additional loot like bio gland and flesh bits. And depending on the mob you kill, will depend on what you get, like sinew. Or sinew. Sorry. Or it operates fairly well as a weapon on its own but also of course has the added function of giving additional loot oh my like mob drops and stuff in here i i need to make a bag that's just a meat bag <laughs> welcome to my meat lair just make a meat bag problem solved you still just doing a sploop Hey, how you guys doing? It's Jake, uh, and don't worry, we are still in-game. So, I'm back uh, after the little compilation. Uh, we're now technically... Let's see, I've got the sound fixed. Hopefully, I'm going to use this to look in the editor, and hopefully the sound levels are fixed. But, I just wanted to hop in, let you know where we're at. So, I do have a bunch of my stuff sorted out. And because I don't want to wait any longer to go further in Biomancy... I am going to end what is now video two was supposed to all be part of video one and we're going to start what was going to be video three. So if you could not already tell, the direction is something that I've been kind of figuring out as we go. I had plans and then the plan I, I had to remake the plans about three times throughout the creation of this video. In in the very first video, I didn't know the ser the name of this series until I clicked publish on the first video. Literally, the entire video got uploaded to YouTuber, to YouTuber, uh, to YouTube, and that's when a Biomancer's Guide to Minecraft clicked in my brain, and I'm like, okay, that's really good. That's good. I'm gonna work with that. Uh, and I made the thumbnail and uploaded it. And so now that's what we're rolling with. But I've got a creative direction figured out on for how, like how I'm going to keep things interesting, give each section, like each video, a goal to make sure that I'm not having a bunch of dead airtime to edit out and try and keep things as interesting and easily to easily to coherently edit for you to watch as possible. I don't think any of that last sentence made any sense. My point being is we're going to take the last like 10 minutes I'd say a video and we're gonna go into the nether so you can see from where I'm at I did wind up crossing this desert I passed by a death worm there is another dragon literally right there just sitting in in that den let's see if we can get an angle and show you and then there are some uh there's a fucking there, there there's an asshole here there's a... Uh... Oh my god, what are they called? The birds. Cockatrice. Cockatrice there being a pain. Being an absolute pain. Yeah, let's see. Can we... Yeah, you can barely see between those trees. It's a fire dragon. The black ones are fire, I believe. I'm pretty certain that that's one of the fire dragon colors. So... He's definitely not someone I want to see up and moving. I mean, he's a low level one, but still more than enough to kick my ass. So we're going to jump into the nether and we're going to take a look because I want to see if I can find a fortress and get the stuff started for biomancy. Because once I do that, that's where I start doing like everything I have planned, building my base, doing all the creepy shit, uh, 
Like, I don't want to get started with vampirism, blood magic, all that, until I have the starting stuff for biomancy, because I want to see how those all interact with one another. And of course, per usual, I get just the worst spawns. That over there is a, a fox. It's like a hell fox thing. They drop blaze powder. Oh, that looks like an imp. Yep, that is an imp from, I believe, Whisperwoods. Or no, imps are from Born of Chaos. Fox sound from Quark. Yeah, these are guys. These guys are from Born. Chaos. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, they don't. They don't do anything super fancy when they attack you. They just hurt. Okay. These guys also. Ow. Don't drop anything special when hit by when killed by my bone cleaver. So we're switching back to the axe. At least for, for those guys. Ah, oh, okay. A lot of these. A lot of these dudes, which is good news. They drop coal now? They used to drop blaze powder. Maybe a different version of the mod? Oh, hey, they drop red. Uh, oh, no, that's more firelight dust. Okay. I always get excited when I see that because I think it's. Oh, that's creepy. I hate that. <laughs> that's where true darkness really kicks in, is creatures that have glowing eyes of any kind become ten times more menacing with the true darkness mod. Yo, what? No way. Actually? Actually, another fortress right in your spawn? I take it back everything I said about always getting horrible nether spawns. Yo, that's amazing. Oh, you're leaving. We're leaving. Goodbye. 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 What? Wait, hold on. What? What? What's that? What? Oh, uh, I didn't realize it was a whore night. No, no. Okay. He's going to be waiting there to attack me. Yep. Okay, so change of plans. I guess we're outlasting the horde in the nether. Uh, I ain't fighting the horde right now. Y'all got me fucked up if you think I'm fighting a horde in the darkness with nothing but iron armor. Y'all got me fucked up. Man, I was just trying to record my intro, outro. I, I was trying to say goodbye to everyone. I'm gonna tell y'all that like, Next episode is when we're going to handle the nether stuff. But then a horde shows up and traps me here. I don't even have... Do I have my dragon bones? I don't have my dragon bones on me. So I can't even I can't even make the dragon bone gear because I'm trapped. I... Bruh. Bruh. Let's go ahead and reach this. So that way we have our entry point for next episode. Man, you are really trying to make me accidentally hit you. Huh. Really? Hello? Just position yourself in the least convenient spot possible. It's okay. No one will mind. Hi. Okay, that's... I think that's... Those are normal skeletons. I thought those were other skeletons. It's just normal skeletons. There we go. Okay, all the hordes are dealt with. Now then, 30 minutes later,
from what I was trying to say. Thank you guys for being patient while this second episode is me basically just catching you up to speed with some of the stuff that otherwise I would have just said happened off screen and helping me kind of mute while I take this time to figure out the direction I want this series to take, at least for how I plan it on the outside to make it better for y'all watching, you know, from the front end of the stage. So tomorrow, or next part, I don't know why I said tomorrow, we're going to be checking out the nether, we're going to raid the rest of that fortress, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and then we're going to take our haul, and we're going to find somewhere to actually start our overworld base, and that will be the main goals for the next episode. Uh, until then, goodbye.